following Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's fairy tale wedding at Windsor Castle in May 2018, the pair visited Ireland for their first official overseas trip. The two day tour, which saw the newlyweds attend a garden party at the British ambassador's Irish residence and meet Irish President Leo Varadkar at government buildings, cost over £250,000 in security fees. The figure, released under a Freedom of Information request, relates to salaries, wages, allowances, travel, subsistence and incidental expenses incurred by the Garda, the police service of the Republic of Ireland. Meghan and Harry also visited Ireland's President Michael Higgins and his wife Sabina Coyne at Arizona Train, the official residence and workplace of the President. They then visited Croke Park, the home of Gaelic Athletic Association, where the pair met with a number of athletes. The royal couple also visited Trinity College in Dublin, the city's potato famine memorial and the Irish Emigration Museum. Security for the two-day visit came to €283,245, £241,770. But the fee was substantially lower than the bill for the state visit of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip in 2011, which cost over €24 million. Pounds 20 million. The four-day trip was the first visit of a British monarch to Ireland in a century and cost the Garda a staggering €24,077,757, £20,552,171. During the official tour, from May 17 to 20, the Queen visited sites of significance for Irish nationalism including the Garden of Remembrance in Croke Park, where the 1920 Bloody Sunday Massacre took place. The visit was seen as a symbolic visit for the strengthening of ties between the Republic of Ireland and the UK. David Cameron, who was Prime Minister at the time of the visit, described the trip as a huge step forward for diplomatic relations between the two countries. Security was beefed up amid a number of threats of violence ahead of the historic visit. It became one of the largest security operations in the nation's history and was hailed as an extraordinary moment. During the four-day tour, the public were kept at a distance behind security barriers to ensure the Queen's safety. During the speech at Dublin Castle, the Queen acknowledged the sad and regrettable mistakes of Britain's troubled relationship with Ireland. She said, It is a sad and regrettable reality that through history our islands have experienced more than their fair share of heartache, turbulence and loss. It continued, To all those who have suffered as a consequence of our troubled past I extend my sincere thoughts and deep sympathy. With the benefit of historical hindsight we can all see things which we would wish had been done differently or not at all. Mr Higgins reciprocated the monarch's visit in April 2014 and became the first Irish president to make a state visit to the UK. Their visit also last four days and saw the president welcomed by the Queen at Windsor Castle, following political meetings with the Prime Minister, opposition leaders and the then Mayor of London. Boris Johnson